everyone, it's Miss Kristen. I hope that you are doing well and hanging in there. And I want to know, do any of you have pets? Do you have maybe a dog or a hamster or a goldfish? Well, if you've watched me at all, you probably know that I, Fiona, have a cat. This is Fiona. And she likes to come and jump in on videos because she hears my voice and she gets excited. If I'm talking on the phone and she hears me, she'll come and meow and she'll try to jump in on the conversation because she recognizes me and she knows who I am, right? You know who I am? Hi. And I take care of Fiona because she's special. So I make sure that she has plenty of food and water and I take care of her litter box and I make sure she's safe and has a place to sleep. And if I ever have to go somewhere where I'm not gonna be around, I let someone come and help me take care of her. I give someone a key and they come and feed her. And Fiona's usually very suspicious when someone else comes because she doesn't recognize them. She doesn't know their voice. So she gets a little nervous and sometimes she gets a little mad if it's somebody that she doesn't know. But she knows me and she trusts me and she knows that I will take care of her, right? Well, my responsibilities with Fiona are a tiny, tiny little bit like being a shepherd. Do you know what a shepherd is or what a shepherd does? A shepherd is someone who takes care of sheep. So now there are still people who are shepherds and in Bible times, there were a lot of people who were shepherds that we read about in the Bible. David was one of them, of King and David and Goliath fame. And so the shepherds in the Bible, or the shepherds anytime, are responsible for taking care of sheep. They're responsible for making sure that they have plenty of grass to eat and water to drink, and that they can get rest and find a nice safe place to lie down. And the shepherd also protects them because sometimes sheep might wander off and need help. And sometimes there are predators that might try and come and get the sheep. Like maybe a big scary wolf might come and try and take the sheep. And so the shepherd has to be prepared and be ready to, uh, to attack or to save and guard the sheep. And sometimes the shepherd would even be a door because the shepherd might gather all of the sheep into a safe place to lie down and go to sleep. And they'd be in this big pen and the shepherd would actually lie in front of the opening to the area, to the fence, so that he was kind of like a door. So if anything tried to come and get the sheep, the shepherd would be there and they'd have to go by the shepherd first and he would block and guard and protect his sheep. And you know, in the Bible, Jesus said he was like a shepherd. He said that he was a good shepherd who would take care of his sheep. And Jesus said that his sheep knew him and knew his voice and would come and follow him when he called. And some people were a little confused by that. Well, what is Jesus talking about? Like, who are sheep? He has sheep? I, I thought he hung out with fishermen. Who? What is this guy talking about? And Jesus was saying that he is our shepherd. So we're kind of like the sheep. Sometimes we wander off, sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes we're in trouble. But Jesus promises to always protect us and to always guard us and guide us. And so we will recognize his voice if we're praying, if we're reading the Bible, if we're in touch with other people, we can be listening for God's voice and listening for what Jesus might be doing in our lives. And when we recognize that voice, we follow him. And Jesus also promises to protect us, to guide us, to provide for us, to make sure that we have what we need, that we have food and water and rest. And Jesus also says that he will keep us from danger. So a really good shepherd would be willing to fight for his sheep, would even be willing to get hurt or even to die for his sheep. So Jesus said that he was the good shepherd who would lay down his life for the sheep. And we know that he did that actually, that he died, that he died for us so that we could be safe and that we could live and that we could go to heaven 
with him someday. So we know that he loves us. We know that he cares about us, cares enough to fight for us, cares enough to die for us, and that he will always take care of us, and that we can always trust him, that we can listen for his voice, and that we can know he is there. See, I'll bet that these little sheep, if they knew their shepherd was lying in that doorway, they'd probably feel pretty secured and pretty cared for, kind of like my cat feels if she knows that I'm in the house with her, kind of like you feel if you know that maybe your parents are in the bedroom next to you or you have a nice big fluffy toy to take care of you. Well, God loves us a lot more, even more than I love my cat. And he loves us more than anything we can imagine and promises to be our shepherd that we can listen for his voice and that we can always trust him to take care of us. So that's something that Jesus said, and that's a promise that you know you can believe. So remember that when things are scary, when you're not sure what's happening, Jesus is our good shepherd and he will always take care of his sheep. Why don't we say a prayer and we can thank God for that and ask him to help us when we're feeling a little afraid. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he is the good shepherd. Help us to listen for his voice Help us to trust him, even when we're feeling afraid. Thank you for always taking care of us. We keep your promises, Lord. Thank you for your love. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. So remember, the Good Shepherd will always take care of you. Have a great week. See you next time.